This story is about a strange island, where many weird, human-like creatures live. Every night they attack the lighthouse there. The story starts in 1914. The government sends a weatherman named Friend to the island for one year. He will study the weather and give them a full report. When Friend gets to the island, his belongings are taken to his house. The ship's captain looks for the previous weatherman to take him back home. But the captain cannot find him anywhere. The captain sees a lighthouse in the middle of the island. He and Friend go inside. An old man named Gruner lives there. The captain asks Gruner, where is the weatherman who was here before? Gruner says, the previous weatherman got sick with typhus, then went out once and never came back. He probably drowned in the sea. Before leaving, the captain gives Friend his revolver to protect him from danger. After that, Friend goes to his house. There he finds the diary left by the previous weatherman. In the diary there are drawings of the lighthouse and some strange creature drawings that Friend cannot understand at all. The next morning, Friend starts his work early. At night, when he is resting in his room, he hears some sounds at the door. He sees a bizarre hand coming through the door towards the inside. Frightened, Friend hides in the basement all night. In the morning when he comes out, Friend sees many bizarre footprints scattered around, going towards the sea. He cannot understand anything, so this makes Friend go to Gruner at the lighthouse to discuss the matter. But Gruner does not open the lighthouse door and tells Friend he should have gone back with the ship. Now Friend understands that the creatures who attacked his room last night will attack again tonight. To protect himself from their attack, Friend barricades his room with wooden planks like a fort. Inside his barricaded room, Friend finds a rifle and many bullets. As soon as night falls, the creatures start attacking him. Friend fires many shots but the creatures are so many in number, he can do nothing. Forced, Friend sets fire to the wooden barricade around his room. But the fire also spreads to his room. The fire grows so much that Friend comes out and hides behind a rock. Seeing the fire, the creatures go away from there. Friend spends the whole night hiding behind that rock. In the morning, Friend notices Gruner has come out of the lighthouse to fetch water. Taking this opportunity, Friend starts following Gruner. But suddenly a creature attacks Friend. It is one of those same creatures that attacked him at night. This one is a female creature. To save himself, Friend points his gun at the creature. Seeing this, Gruner comes there and tells Friend not to kill it, it will not harm you. Gruner calls the creature to him. Then Gruner gives Friend permission to stay at the lighthouse, as Friend has enough food and supplies. While talking inside the lighthouse, Gruner tells Friend that this creature is like his pet dog. Although it attacked him once, Gruner gave it proper punishment and now it is his slave. Friend asks Gruner, I came here by ship, you could have gone back on that ship. But why didn't you go? Then Gruner says here he is the king of his kingdom. He can do whatever he wants, whenever he wishes. Gruner will never leave this place and go anywhere else. Then Friend says if you want to stay, you stay. I will signal the next passing ship and leave from here. Gruner says no ship passes through this place. These creatures never attack in the daytime so there is no reason to be afraid then. At night, Gruner gets ready with his gun and leaves that creature with Friend on the roof. The creature starts crying on the roof and hearing its cries, many more such creatures start coming towards the lighthouse from the sea. Gruner keeps firing continuously at the creatures and tells Friend to shoot too, but seeing the situation, Friend faints right there. Gruner keeps killing the creatures all night and in the morning angrily wakes up Friend. Gruner tells Friend, if you want to stay here you have to work. Go fetch water. Friend goes to fetch water and when he returns to the lighthouse with the water, he sees Gruner having sexual relations with that female creature. Friend is very surprised to see this but he says nothing to Gruner. At mealtime, Gruner tells Friend if you want to stay here you have to kill these creatures. I am giving you one last chance. At night, like the previous night, those creatures start coming towards the lighthouse again. Today Friend keeps killing the creatures. Seeing this, Gruner barricades the balcony door and Friend kills those creatures all night. After this their life continues like this. Although they live together, there is no good relationship between them at all. It is only because of the circumstances that they are living together. After many days passed, the crabs no longer attack the lighthouse. Seeing this, Friend tells Gruner that maybe the crabs understood they could never defeat them, 
so they were not attacking anymore. Then Gruner says no, it's not like that. The crabs were probably increasing their numbers, and when they grew a lot in number, they would attack them again. Slowly, Friend starts to feel pity and affection for that crab who stays with them. Friend names the crab Anaris. Many more days pass without the crabs attacking them anymore, which makes Friend and Gruner careless. One night, they forget to light the lighthouse. Taking this opportunity, many crabs attack the lighthouse that night. In the crab's attack, Gruner's legs are badly injured, but the two of them survive. After that, Anaris, the crab that stayed with them, starts licking the wound on Gruner's leg. Slowly, the wound starts to heal. Actually, the crab's saliva has medicinal properties that can heal any wound instantly. Some days later, Friend sees a ship passing by at sea, which makes him very happy. He brings a flare from the lighthouse to signal the ship. As soon as Friend goes to light the flare, Gruner pushes him and makes him fall. Actually, Gruner does not want anyone to know about this island. A fight starts between Friend and Gruner. Seeing this, Anaris attacks Gruner. Seeing Anaris's behavior, Gruner becomes very angry and brings out his belt to kill Anaris. But Anaris escapes into the sea. Now a very friendly bond develops between Anaris and Friend. Friend wants to go back home from this island. When Anaris understands this, he takes Friend to an old boat. Seeing the boat, Friend becomes very happy and tells Gruner, I found a boat. Then Gruner says, I knew about that boat for a long time. Actually, one day during a storm, a Portuguese ship lost its way and came here. That ship was full of dynamite. Some people came ashore on the boat. But at night, those crabs killed them. I had found some dynamite but it got wet and was destroyed. Friend says, we should go to that ship. Maybe some dynamite is still good there. But Gruner refuses to go with him. Then Friend tells Gruner, you just take me to the ship in the boat. I will go underwater and you just control the oxygen pipe from above. If I can bring dynamite from there, then with the dynamite we can kill all those crabs together. But Gruner refuses to go with Friend in any way. The next day, when Anaris is bathing in the water, Friend also bathes with him. Seeing their friendship, jealousy burns inside Gruner but he doesn't say anything to Friend. When Friend returns to the lighthouse, Gruner tells him, I changed my decision and we will both go to that ship to get dynamite. The next day they go by boat to the ship and Friend puts on a heavy iron diving suit so he can breathe underwater. Friend tells Gruner, if I pull the rope three times then think I need help and pull me up. Then Friend goes underwater. They bring up the dynamite boxes one by one, but suddenly the baby sea creatures come around them, though they don't harm Friend. But Friend gets scared and pulls the rope several times, yet Gruner intentionally doesn't pull Friend up. So Friend has to get out of his suit and barely makes it to the surface. They take the dynamite to the lighthouse and spread it around the lighthouse. A week passes but no sea creatures come. By now, winter has started and it begins to snow. Gruner wants to kill the sea creatures at any cost. Gruner stands outside all night with the dynamite detonator switch in hand, but it is no use, no sea creatures come this way. So Gruner gets very angry and starts beating Anaris. But Friend saves Anaris from Gruner's hands. Then Gruner tells Friend, tonight we will kill those sea creatures for sure. You keep the door open and stay alert. They wait a long time but not one sea creature comes towards them. Seeing this, Gruner gets very angry and in his rage brings Anaris upstairs and tells him, you cry out, sing, call your companions here in any way you can. Bring the rest of the sea creatures here. And Anaris starts crying again. Hearing his cry, many sea creatures start coming towards the lighthouse. They attack Friend who is downstairs and somehow Friend barely survives and comes upstairs. And in the next moment, he detonates the dynamite spread around them. The blast kills all the surrounding sea creatures, and even Friend and Gruner are quite injured. The next morning when they look around, they can't find Anaris anywhere. Actually Anaris had left with his companions the previous night. Then Friend makes a boat by piling up stones by the seashore in a circular shape and leaving a boat made of bones inside it. Actually, Friend leaves this as a gift for the sea creatures. In the evening when Friend goes there, he sees a little baby of the sea creatures come and take the boat. Then Anaris and many other sea creatures come there. Friend then realizes these sea creatures didn't actually want to fight, they wanted peace and to live in harmony. 
Just then Gruner fires blanks and tells Anaris to go inside but Anaris doesn't pay any attention to Gruner's words. Rather he says no to Gruner while looking into his eyes. This hurts Gruner a lot. He walks towards the lighthouse. When friend is about to gift the boat to the baby, from a distance Gruner shoots and kills the baby. All the sea creatures get scared and leave the place. The chance of building a friendship between them is completely destroyed. Friend gets very angry at this and fighting breaks out between Friend and Gruner inside the lighthouse. At one point Gruner picks up a knife to kill Friend, but just before Gruner stabs him, Friend calls out Gruner's real name. Friend says, Elder Bigland, you are no killer, you cannot kill anyone. Actually this Gruner is the same weatherman who had come to this island before Friend. Hearing his real name shocks Gruner a lot and he throws away the knife and comes outside. There the sea creatures beat him up. Many days pass and now Friend lives here alone. It is almost a year since Friend had come to this island. One day another ship arrives with a new weatherman who has come to replace Friend. Actually their contract was for one year so after it got over, the new weatherman was sent as Friend's replacement. Friend has grown long hair and beard, so those people think he is Gruner. And Friend doesn't tell them the truth either. They ask Friend where the real Friend had gone, and Friend says Friend had contracted typhus and died. Actually when Friend had first come to this island a year ago, Gruner had told him the same thing about the previous weatherman. Meaning Friend doesn't want to leave this island anymore. He has found the peace he was looking for. Right after that the captain orders, search the whole island. And then they see Anaris jumping in the sea and swimming away. Meaning the relationship between Anaris and Friend is very good now. And with that the movie ends.